So, I'm gonna try to keep this short and sweet. Happy ADHD Awareness Month, everyone. <laughs> Hopefully, I'll be able to edit this pretty quickly. Uh, I'm trying to do a little bit of speed sewing only because I want this done for tomorrow and I waited the last minute to start it. Supposedly, it's a pretty quick build. Also, I do recognize that I did just do a video where <laughs> I make a caftan, but this caftan's different. One, it's a different pattern, which I actually really wanted to try anyway. It's Decades of Style, the TLC caftan. It's pattern number 107. I'll put the information down below. I did their PDF version so I could print it out and cut out. Um, I like the PDF versions because if I change sizes, I can always reprint them out and recut them out as opposed to paper patterns, which you'd have to rebuy, unless you're really good and trace your stuff, but come on. Um, I've got this stuff right here. The other difference with this caftan compared to the other one is that it's a bat caftan. With, you know, I'm gonna make bat wings out of the sides of the caftan. So I'm gonna be doing some modifications to this pattern just to do that. But mostly it's going to be the exact same with how they want you to build this pattern. We're doing the bodice and the front panels and the back and the back panels the same. It's literally just the sleeves of the caftan that I'm changing and I will show you that more in depth and I will show you the other things just because again, speed sewing. <laughs> and there's other people who've done videos on this caftan so I don't think I really need to go super step by step with this. Let's go. <laughs> Let's get started. It's a... Uh... Oh god, it's 3.15. I go to work in a couple hours, and then, well, in a couple hours, I go to work at 5. And then, I don't get off till later, so I'll be sewing this evening as well. I started off with the smaller pieces, since those were more manageable, like the front overlapping bodice. And then I worked on the more harrowing <laughs> bat wings. Uh, using pins to kind of help me guide my scallops because the fabric didn't take well to being drawn on <laughs> with a tailor's pencil. So yeah, it's a lot of uh, winging it. Please forgive me. I wanted to have it kind of tapered down towards the bottom. I think that worked pretty well in the end. Also, switching my machine to a walking foot helped a lot with, uh, you know, getting this very squiggly fabric through. I will say I struggled a lot with tension though, so I should have practiced a lot first before starting the project because I had to keep going back in and redoing stitches or redoing seams because um, the tension was all messed up. And then I started assembling the bodice, following the instructions as they have you do all kinds of crazy things, then gather down the front and the back at the waists. And the front also has gathering at the shoulders. Then once they have the shoulders seams together, they want you to actually um, bind the neckline edge. What I did is I just turned, <laughs> I turned under the neckline. Um, you know, for a rolled hem. I think that worked fine with this knit. I'm sure if it was with a, you know, a woven, like a cotton fabric, you really do want to use a bias binding. But because this was knit, I wasn't very worried about that. Next, attaching the pockets to the front skirt panel. And then later I'll be attaching their pairs to the front part of the wings. Just your normal inset pockets. Then gathering the top of the skirt down to fit that little rectangular placket that goes at the waist. Now it's time to try it on after attaching that to the bodice. And here is the top of the sleeves. 
and my shoulder. And then um, leaving a gap for where my arm's gonna come out through the armhole, I pin down the bat wing sides. And sew along both of those. And then I rolled the sleeve armhole facing two times to make a rolled hem for that cuff. And once I have those set together, there's kind of a weird uh, seam that they have you do. They have you inset the caftan wings. Um, I have to show you the diagram <laughs> because it's really hard to explain. So here's that. Here's what that looks like. That also includes the pocket. You basically, you're sewing a giant U shape, including the pockets. So it's, it's a very interesting uh, construction method, different than the other captain for sure. Once I have all, both wings on, I'm just trying this on and attaching elastics. They also recommended doing ties, but I thought elastics would be easier since it was a knit. However, because this thing is a little oversized on me, the elastic pieces I used were about an inch and a half wide. <laughs> I don't think they're supposed to be that tiny, um, but you know, I'll find out if I make this one again out of a woven. And lastly, just hemming my captain. Just your simple rolled hem. And we're done. Here's some close-up shots of the armhole in the sleeve, or the, the wrist hole? The sleeve hem? I'm not sure what you call this part. So I added little elastic loops to go around my middle finger um, to kind of achieve more of that bat cape look when I want it. And I also can unattach that from my fingers to have more casual bat wing look. And then also I top stitched down the um, sides of those wings following the points just to give them a little bit more definition. Here's the neckline. I had to do a little bit of a, a seam there to make it a little bit more modest. I think I was meant to move over the overlapping pieces a little bit more than I did. So I may go in and fix that, we'll see. <laughs> it's just something to keep in mind if you make this captain out of a knit yourself. Then here's details on the hem. There's that rolled hem. And see, here's the little tiny, teeny tiny uh, waist elastic that kind of keeps it fitted to the body and the, the inset pockets there as well. Uh, I also was supposed to do placards on the inside for the waist, but uh, like the other one, I didn't do that. So I didn't think it was necessary in the knits and in the sheer caftan that I did before. Maybe it is. Maybe I should go in and do that to give myself more stability once I fix it. Um, we'll find out later.
Hello. <laughs> uh, well, first of all, happy Halloween, everyone. Um, happy Samhain, if you practice Samhain as well. Um, this wasn't really intended to be my Halloween costume. This was meant more of um, just to wear to the concert. However, the costume I was making for Halloween kind of erupted into hellish flames, quite appropriately, since it was a double costume. Anyway, um, that's a project that I'm going to reattempt at another time and do a video with, because I want to do a video of it. At least we have this one, right? Um, number one, I guess, on top of that, is a Happy ADHD Awareness Month, although I know it's the end of October now, so obviously. Happy last month, I don't know. I have 500 plus subscribers now. Um, thank you all so much. Uh, if you enjoy what I'm doing, please, you know, subscribe if you haven't already. Um, leaving a comment really kind of helps me stay motivated as well. And obviously liking my video <laughs> also, you know, gives me that little confidence boost. Should we get into, uh, you know, final thoughts, I guess. Um, there's a couple things I would change if I did this again, and I may actually go in and change some things about this caftan. Um, mainly, <laughs> I don't really think about this because I don't sew with knits very often, and that is, it's heavy. <laughs> it's really heavy. I'm actually going to weigh it for you so that you know how heavy this damn thing is. Um, it feels like it's at least five pounds, and it's like, you know, it's comfy. It's comfy? It's comfy, though. Um, it's comfy, it's heavy, it's kind of like wearing one of those anti-anxiety weighted blankets a little bit. I am a little worried about the modesty of it for being so heavy. Like, I think I was actually supposed to sew this over the, the overcross a little bit more, but there's a lot of challenges. This pattern wasn't meant for a knit, and I decided I had to do a knit because I wanted to match this hat, and um, I didn't really take into consideration what that would do to the overall end product. Um, being like, well, <laughs> I should have sized down because negative ease, right? I didn't think about negative ease because, again, I don't sew with knits. I'm starting to, but they are kind of the bane of my existence. This was also because it was so heavy and slippery, hellacious to cut. Um, you saw me, you saw a little bit of me cutting on the bed, but that took me like an hour just to cut out the wings and the, these big pieces. Um, ugh, you know, I, I again, went with this kind of velour crush velvet and you know there's a direction to velvets and I specifically wanted it to be less shiny which like the waistband I don't know if you can see it is shiny I wanted it to have the darker less shiny um, nap showing so I was given amazing advice which helped a lot which was to um, switch my foot to the walking foot which is usually used for like quilting and fleeces and really thick fabrics it really helps because it has extra um, feed dogs that also grab the fabric and pull it through the machine so that made a huge difference um, but tension tension was insane it was really frustrating there were times like literally after I cut out the project I didn't touch it for like two weeks because I was like so done <sighs> Sorry, trying to process the frustration that went into this project. Considering how much struggle I had with this, it came out beautifully. I, I really like it. Again, it's just really heavy and it droops in places it shouldn't because it's, um, I should have sized down. Um, like when I put stuff in my pockets, it really pulls down at the sides. Um, and as you see um, on the inside of the dress, I added the little waist ties. On my original caftan, I have the waist ties ties. <laughs> ties. So you have ties on the inside to tie it in the back on the inside of the other one to make it fit your body a little bit better. This actually has a back pocket unlike the other caftan that has it nicely cinched in and so then you connect the two with either ties or I opted for elastic which was also mentioned in the pattern. I prefer the elastic. It does make it a little hard to get over my head because again I should have sized sized down. I don't think these pieces are supposed to be that small. I think they should probably be a little bit wider, but because this is a knit and it's very droopy and heavy and <laughs> a little oversized for me, you know, we have that issues. I think if I'm going to fix it, which I may go in again and do, I'm probably going to bring it in the shoulders a bit so that I feel a little less <laughs> immodest and I think it'll fit me a little bit better if it's more of my natural waistline up here. 
Um, it is a little hard to wear with any bra, so currently I am braless, I guess. Um, which, I mean, captains, I guess that's kind of the appeal, right? Is that you can be braless and it's comfortable and it's very glam. I highly recommend this Decades of Style pattern. It's really easy to follow. They have um, good instructions. I've used another one of their patterns before. I think it was the Rodeo blouse. Um, I enjoy what they do. Highly suggest their PDF patterns. Uh, I really actually enjoy this project, despite all the frustrations. It came together pretty quickly, um, you know, outside of me waiting till the last minute and having to go to work in between sewing it and all that. Mm. <laughs> um, yeah, all in all, I love this captain. I've actually, this is like, is this the third time I've put it on? This may be the third time I've put it on since making it. I'm just gonna wear it for Halloween since my other costume didn't work. Um, this hat, I can't remember her name, but the lady who makes these, she makes devil ones too. This is technically a bunny hat, um, but I felt like the ears were more bat-like than her cat bat one. Um, and I actually prefer long-eared bats, like the California leaf nose bat. Yeah, so I felt like these fit a little bit more with the bat look than their bat cat ear ones. I felt like those were a little too more catty, cat-like. Um, I do want to own all of their hoods, though. <laughs> Uh, yeah, so I'll put her information down below and her Etsy page. Thank you all again for watching. Thank you again for 500 plus subs. I'm really pumped and hoping that I can hit a thousand sooner rather than later. Um, you know, I, I really also need to get on it and make more videos. I have a lot of footage that I'm just sitting on that I need to just edit and stop being like a weenie about it. And I have a lot of projects that I want to do, so stay tuned, and um, I should have some more content. It's going to be a little bit post-Halloween, but that's okay, because we're Hello Queenie, and this is, you know, Halloween all year round content. Anyway, I'll see you next time. Stay creepy.